Hi everyone. I recently had some free time, which meant I could finally update one of my tools. So I decided to rework my auto limb tool with some of the updates you guys have suggested, plus reworking and streamlining how it works. If you don't know what this tool is or what it does, well, it basically takes a simple joint chain like the ones you see here and rigs them for you. So you can rig biped arms and legs and also quadruped limbs quickly and easily. There will also be support for arachnid limbs and tentacles in a future update. You can download this from the Ant CGI store or one of my other online stores as a standalone script or as part of the Rigging in Maya script pack, which also includes other tools like the ribbon creation tool and the dynamic joint tool. So let's take a look. Well, to begin with, you can see that the UI has changed a lot from version two. There are the usual list of updates and future plans here. Here, you can choose the limb type you are working on. So biped arm, biped leg, quadruped front leg, or a quadruped rear leg. The grayed out sections here, which aren't currently available, are future updates. You can choose the side you want to work on and also specify the orientation of the joints you are using. So with this option, X, Y, Z, you would use this if X is the primary axis, so the one pointing down the joint. It's important that your joints are orientated the same as this example. So when the controls and systems are created, they are also orientated the correct way. Don't worry though, these sample joint files come with the script. The foot orient section just tells the tool how to orient the foot controls and we'll see that in action later. This section here, scale multi, lets you change the control sizes, which is useful if you're working on larger or smaller characters. Here we have a series of options allowing you to configure how the limb is rigged. So do you want stretchy joints or volume preservation? An option that's new in version 3 is the ability to add roll and twist joints. Again, we have two disabled options here which will be added in a future release. What's also new with version 3 is the ability to change the colour of your controls with these swatches. And also, Maya now remembers the previous settings you had in the UI, so the next time you open it, it's all set up for you. Okay, so how do we use it? Well, let's rig the arm first. So first make sure the limb type is set to biped arm. The limb side is left, and also the correct orientation is set. Now select the three joints of the arm. You need to select them in order because the tool uses the first and last selection to see which are the shoulder and wrist joints. We set our other options and simply click go. So the left arm is rigged now. What the tool also does is builds the rig hierarchy for you. So I would suggest you use this first to get the scene set up for you and then build the rest of the rig because then you have the hierarchy already built for you. You see, we have the main rig group, which you can rename to match the character or creature you are rigging. Just replace the X's here. Inside we have all the main groups and the tool will put all the systems in the right places for you. You also have a series of attributes added to the main root control too. All for you to wire up and use where you see fit. So here you see we have the left arm rigged and it has squash and stretch too. We have the pull vector elbow control. What also comes with the roll joints are these additional controls. These just allow you to adjust them, which is useful for those extreme poses. Let's reset this. We also have FK support too. And here you can see the roll joints a little clearer. As the shoulder rotates, the roll joint's axes stay steady. The same with the wrist. OK, let's rig something else. How about the biped leg? 
So we select the joints, change limb type to biped leg. We want the left side and let's leave foot orient set to floor. Let's build this. And you can see the foot control is now orientated and placed on the floor. If I undo that, and instead we set foot orient to joint, you see the control is now orientated to the joint. So there's a bit of flexibility if you want a different type of foot setup. Let's rig the other side now. So all we need to do is set limb side to right and apply that. And the right leg is rigged. Good, nice and quick. Now let's rig the quadruped limbs. And the process is just as easy. Let's do the front legs first. So set this to quad front. Select the joints. And we want the left side. Let's also set the foot orient back to floor too. And apply that. And we have the front leg rigged. We also have an extra control so we can pose the lower section of the leg. And like the arm, we have similar roll joints and controls. Let's do the opposite leg. So select the joint chain, change limb side to right. And there we go, both front legs rigged quickly and easily. So you see, this could be useful for setting up a game rig or you could use these joints to drive a ribbon based rig if you're working on a rig for visual effects. Okay, rear leg next. And this has a slightly different setup to the front leg because of the joints positions. This is why there are two separate options. So select the joint chain, change limb type to quad rear, and we want the left side. And there we go, that's rigged. Now the right side. And that's done too. And if you fancy seeing how the quadruped limbs can be rigged manually and what different options are available, check out the video that's on the screen now. So those are rigged and working. And they're stretchy plus have volume preservation, so they will get thinner the more the leg stretches. You can see the scale values here have reduced to take into account the stretch. We can use the volume offset attribute here to adjust it to if needed. Okay, we just need to do the left arm now and everything is rigged. Okay, done. And all those simple joint chains are now rigged and ready to be added to the rest of the character. Actually, looking at this makes me think I might add another update to the tool and add in the option to also quickly rig a spine. That way you have all the basics done so you can spend more time polishing the rig and adding the extras. What do you think to that idea? Let me know and I will look into it for the next release. OK, so let's look at another joint setup. So these look the same, but the joint orientation is different. You see, Y is the primary axis this time. So we need to make sure we update the joint orient section. And then it's the same as before. We select the joint chain, select the options we want, and then build the rig. Actually, let's change the control colours this time. So let's have blue on the left, or maybe this is more of a cyan, and pink in the middle, or magenta, and let's maybe go with a lime green on the right. There we go, looks quite nice. And the arm is rigged just as before, but taking into account the different joint orientation. Actually, looking at this, I might swap these colour swatches around, because it just occurred to me 
that the one for the left colour is on the right and the one for the right colour is on the left. OK, I'll update that after this video. OK, there's one more joint orientation the tool currently supports and that's this one with Z being the primary axis. And again, these joint files will be included with the script so you can see the ideal setup which will work best with this tool. So we want a biped arm and change the joint orient to ZXY this time. Apply that. OK, good. I'll quickly add the quadruped leg rigs. So you will see we also have the option to use a spring solver and this is mainly used on the quadruped limbs. So let's compare the two. If I build this leg with the standard rotate plane solver, now let's build the opposite one with a spring solver. On the surface, they look the same. Let's move them. So you see, we get a nicer compression with the spring solver when compared to the rotate plane solver. So why don't we use this all the time? Well, if I now stretch the legs, you see the one with the spring solver moves away from the controls, so it's not as stable. So with this option, you can choose the setup depending on the type of animation you are wanting. I am looking into a workaround for this, so should hopefully have something in a future update. OK, so that's the Auto Limb tool and its new updates. What do you guys think? Remember that you can download this and many of my other tools from the Ant CGI store and some of my other online stores if you prefer. Ideally, I would love to give these away for free, but remember that you spending a small amount of money on these tools helps to support more free tutorials. If you wanted more flexibility, you could also use my ribbon creation tool to quickly add a ribbon, deformers and tweak controls to the limb. In this instance, the twist joints would probably confuse the tool. When using the ribbon tool, you have to select the root joint of the joint chain. The problem we have with this joint setup is we now have the roll and twist joints added to it and they will confuse the ribbon tool and think that they are part of the main hierarchy. So in this instance, what I would do is just create a temporary joint chain to use as a guide for where the controls need to go. So you end up with something like this. All we need to do now is constrain the ribbon control offset groups to the main joints. and the ribbon now follows as the leg moves. Obviously this will need more work to set up correctly, but these two scripts could save you a lot of time. OK, so that's the Auto Limb Tool. As mentioned, I have lots of plans for the future like spine support, arachnid legs and tentacles. For now though, that's another video over. Thanks for watching right to the end and make sure you check out some of the other free videos and courses I have. You can find links to all these on the screen now and in the description below. Remember, to help support future content and keep these videos free, visit the Ant CGI store or join the Ant CGI club. Alternatively, if you would just like to show your appreciation for these videos, why not treat me to a coffee at my coffee page? Again, the link is on the screen now and in the description below. Thanks again for watching, this is Ant CGI signing off and I will see you on the next one.